What's up guys, it's Johnny Candido of Candido Training. So fit, so high. So fit, so high. HQ, man. Dude, we're supposed to just say HQ, my bad. It's whatever, let's just get out of here. Reverse time. Today's video is going to be on a topic that I brought up before, but I never gave a clear opinion on it. And that is if you should bench press doing a touch and go bench, which is when you bring it down to your chest and then you immediately press the weight, or if you should use a pause. And the reason why I never gave a clear answer on this is because I didn't really have a strong opinion either way. Because we're talking about not just preparing for powerlifting meet, obviously there you should do a pause in preparation for that, but I'm talking about for both general strength and for just building strength for powerlifting in the off season as far as which one is ideal. It's really kind of tricky because you will see videos of guys like Dan Green and Eric Spoto doing touch and go bench presses. So for that reason and the fact that the bench press is by far my weakest lift, I wasn't comfortable giving a solid stance on this issue. So instead what I did is I brought a special guest for this video. His name is Connor Lutz and he is an IPF world record holder in the junior division 83 kilogram weight class, which is my weight class. He has bench pressed 190 kilograms over 400 pounds with a pause. And that's at a body weight of around 180 pounds. So without further ado, I'll let Connor take over. Hey guys, Connor Lutz here with Candido Training HQ. Uh, a few things I want to talk about before we get going. I want to thank Johnny for hooking me up with the sweet Candido Training wife beater. And two, I want to apologize for the terrible camera quality as I'm filming this bad boy on the old potato cam. Um, one thing I want to clarify before we, we kind of get into this a little bit deeper is uh, when we talk about the touch and go bench press from here on out, we're not talk talking about the epic sink and heave or the uh, the leg shimmy uh, seesaw bench press. So just light touch of the chest and uh, pressing the weight back up. Um, in regards to power lifting, um, all of the beginner lifters that I work with, I specifically emphasize the pause in the bench. So I think it's extremely important to pause all your reps in training, specifically as a beginner. The reason for this is I think that the pause bench is, uh, is a different movement than the touch and go. It requires a lot more stability, it requires a lot more tightness, it requires you to be, uh, to be a lot more comfortable under heavy load. Um, when it gets to a competition, um, specifically um, federations that have uh, pretty strict rules on the press command, on the, the lockout and, and handoff and that kind of thing, um, the ability to, to stabilize the weight on your chest to stop that weight from sinking in or teetering or uh, or hovering on the chest is going to give you a faster press command. Your pause bench is going to help your touch and go. Your touch and go potentially might not help your pause bench um, because you're lacking the ability to stabilize that bar on your chest and to be comfortable under under load under in a static position on your chest. When we relate this to a uh, just your typical gym goer, so there's the argument about um, intensity versus uh, you know the amount of time you're actually under the bar. So um, I think regardless of of being a power lifter or just training for general strength, it's important to be able to do both and be able to do both properly. You might have a five by five pause competition pause bench. Um, we might do a six set of five plus reps. So the goal is obviously not to go to failure on those those uh, plus sets, but you're going to shoot for maybe six, seven, eight maybe nine, maybe even ten reps, depending on how efficient you are at uh, at pausing, um, how well your uh, your touch and go is, is in relation to your to your pause bench, but it allows you to almost use the touch and go as a means to overload your bench press. Um, when you are training for a meet, uh, uh, one, probably my favorite bench press accessory is the three count pause bench. So you bring the weight down, you're holding that weight for three seconds on your chest. A lot of times, um, you know, I'm chomping down on my teeth, my eyes are closed, I'm squeezing that bar as hard as I possibly can, just waiting for those three seconds to come. As soon as that three seconds come, I'm firing off that the off my chest as hard as I possibly can. Um, it teaches you how to stay tight, um, teaches you proper positioning in the bench. If you let it sink in, you lose that tightness in your upper back, you're going to compromise some stability in the shoulder, you're potentially going to risk injury. Um, when it gets to a competition, it's going to be a lot it's going to uh, translate really well when you get to that max load and it's a one count pause all of a sudden you know how to stay tight for three seconds staying tight for one second or, or however long that press that uh, press count is um, it's going to be a lot easier to get that weight moving same thing on the on the flip side, talking about the regular gym gore the three count pause is going to put you in greater uh, time under tension on the 
under the bench press, and it's gonna it's gonna help you in the long run with uh, with muscle growth and and uh, again just being comfortable in proper bench pressing technique, regardless of if you test it touch and go, or you test it pause. Um, hopefully, I can get to get together with Johnny in Johannesburg and um, put together. Um, you know, kind of walk him through how I would set someone up on the bench press and we can record that for you guys. And best luck in your training and stay strong. I'd like to thank Connor for helping us all out, for giving his perspective. And a link will be to his YouTube channel in the description of this video so you can check out some of his other lists if you're curious. And that's it guys. Make sure to like the video, support the channel, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching guys. Peace.